So look, bro. Um, another reaction video. It's my last video of the day. Y'all need to clap it up for me because I've been right here four videos straight. Y'all think YouTube would be easy to actually do it, bro. You got to stay consistent. Not only that. Consistency is like a big part, but another big part is being entertaining. Another big part is knowing what you're talking about. Another big part is staying true to yourself. Another big part is not even being no bust or no troll or none of that on YouTube because I promise you, you will get the views, you will get the subscribers. But there's no longevity in that. It's not, bro. You can get it for now. Oh, you got subscribers two months in a row, four months in a row, eight months in a row, a year in a row. But eventually, if you're not authentic, bro, that's going to go straight out the window. Why am I losing subs? Why am I losing? Why you think y'all got Supreme Patty? He ain't putting them uh, uh, limits in his eye no more and bunk gang running around doing all that. Hey, he found God. You know what I'm saying? I hate when people say they found God like God be on earth somewhere. But yeah, he found God, bro. And they, you got to switch it up. You got to switch it up. All that clout should be cool. But at the same time, bro, y'all got to understand when you in the streets and you doing dumb stuff, Pranks, acting like you want to fight people. It's only entertaining the kids. You know what I'm saying? That's only entertaining. After a while, you have no longevity in that. These kids do not run these companies. These kids do not pay your bills, pay your, I mean, get your money, get your checks, none of that. With that being said, bro, it might be entertaining to the kids. And when I say longevity, the real world not going to mess with it. Because when I speak on the real world, it's adults, bro. It's adults. Now, imagine going into this company to Reebok or trying to get a deal from Puma or trying to get a deal from Nike, trying to trying to get sponsored by uh, 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 Manscaped or something like that, and you run around stealing chips out of a store so you can go viral, or you run around acting like you want to fight people so you can go viral. They're going to look at your content and be like, I'm cool. Do something that you love. Even if you love cutting grass, bro, if you love it enough... People gonna see that ambition in you and they gonna subscribe to your channel. If you love it enough, your grass gonna be cut to the T. You're gonna think of all innovative ways to do it, bro. And do it. Listen to me. Y'all know I don't be capping to y'all. If you got clout content, chill out. If you got clout chasing content, chill out. And I go for you old heads too. On these podcasts. Anyway, bro, I'm finna get into this video. My favorite court cam videos. Discord link is in the description. I hope y'all doing all right. Yes, this will be a Yande video. Um, mm. Where we at? 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 Oh, yeah, Tim. Well, I spoke up. I speak up on it again, bro. If you looking for somebody to watch videos, if you want to watch somebody watch videos... Without no commentary, you weird, bro. This is a reaction channel. I'm going to say what I speak, and I'm going to speak on how I feel. You got to be weird. Ghost, you're pausing too much. Ghost, 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 ghost. Well, find the original video and watch it by yourself. Every single video I do on here, I get it from YouTube. Get you a Jake the Snake like I did. Sit your ass at home and watch them videos and leave me alone, bro. Girls, you talking too much. You paused it at the right. You paused it at the wrong time. That's the coldest part. You see how it's the wrong time to you? We on different times, bro. I'm on different timing than everybody. It's the right time for me. How you gonna tell me it's the wrong time when I'm in here doing them racks? This is my computer. This is my camera. This is my life. This is my body, my soul, my tree. If I pause the video, it's the right time. Ain't nobody look. If I wanna. See, I make my body do that. I ain't got no, like, disability or nothing where I just be like, hey, hey. no, it don't do that. I do that. My mind make my body do that, bro. Leave me alone. Go do some push-ups. It's your bird chest. You, you, got, you, you, ain't, you ain't even got no definition. And you, shh, you go to jail, you niggas is pressing. You getting beat up, bro. Straight up. As soon as you walk in there, oh, yeah, I got me some commissary for the day. Hey, look, I'm going to tell you like this. Getting on the bottom bunk first off, right? Every month, you call your mama, your girl, your baby, whoever, your baby mama, whoever, bro. You paying three hundred dollars of rent up in here every month with your bird chest, and I better have forty dollars of commissary on my uh on my books every Friday. Or I'm beating you up, bro. 
And guess what? You got to be in that cell with me for 10 months. So then what you going to do? Bird chest. Do some push-ups. Y'all ain't be, bro, females like it. You be cool when your squabble come around. You you can pick up stuff around the house. Why y'all niggas don't work out? I don't get y'all. No, let's, let's get up in this video, though. Let's get up in this video, though. That was a five-minute intro. I love my job. <laughs> Let this Let's go. Next, we're in Denver, Colorado for a first advisement hearing. The purpose of the proceeding is for the judge to explain to the defendant why he's being held in custody and to outline upcoming legal procedures, even though the defendant has not been officially charged. That's a lawsuit. What they just say? Hold on, let me take it back 10 seconds. Outline upcoming legal procedures, even though the defendant has not been officially charged. What the hell? Today, things are being laid out for Anthony Waller. He was taken into custody on suspicion of multiple crimes, including false imprisonment and assault on a female victim at a local motel. Judge Doris Byrd then explains he'll be held in custody while the case is being investigated. It ain't no held in custody, bro. She get bail. You know what I'm saying? They didn't say nothing about no bail. Even if you was to murder somebody today, bro, you can get bail if your record not messed up like that. You know what I'm saying? The court system, the judicial, however you say that, it's messed up, bro. And I ain't even putting no color on it. It just messed up because I did so many of these. They treat Arabs like this, Chinese motherfuckers, black motherfuckers, eight maskins. Why? They treat everybody like this, bro. The system is so jacked up, and I honestly believe, I honestly know. It's all depending on who you know, onto what time you can get, or what you can get off with. You know what I'm saying? If you know nobody, bro, you got people out there doing the most and only getting 30 days for that because they mom and they auntie or somebody they know. You got people that speeding doing 120 miles an hour, and they call that felony speeding. You can get two to three months for that, bro. You're doing more time. Then the person that got caught with work, drugs, a gun, stolen vehicle, and all that, just because they daddy, homeboy, is a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? That's how this life go when it comes to music, when it comes to, uh, to the court system, when it comes to the streets. All depending on who you know, bro. I swear to God, all depending on your connections. He needs to be burning. Investigation for reason. false imprisonment, assault uh, in the third degree, a, a assault as a class two felony, and a misdemeanor uh, charge. Why he ain't getting uh, no bail? Them ain't no real well charges. In possession of drug paraphernalia. No real charges. I'd like to object first. Uh, you know, if I'm under investigation, I thought the investigation came first, and then the rest came. Exactly. But before the judge can give Waller an explanation, a deputy gives him a nudge from behind. What? What? Do you remember how I said, I said no matter who you is, you go in that system? But most of the time, when you black, you get handled like that, bro. He didn't like him just because of his skin color. Oh, boy, wasn't being irate, disrespectful. He didn't act like he wanted to lunge at the judge. He wasn't loud. He stood there in handcuffs, shackles on his feet, at the podium, listening to his sentence, bro. The first nudge, he nudged him because he spoke. Like, basically, bro, don't. I'd like to object first. Class two felony. He like, bro, don't you speak to that white man on that podium. What's your problem? That's why he nudged him the first time. And soon as old boy turned around, like, why he do that? Uh. And a misdemeanor uh, charge uh, uh, as well in possession of drug paraphernalia. I'd like to object first. Uh, you know, if I'm under investigation, I thought the investigation came first, and then the rest came. Right. But Why before he the pointing? judge can give Waller an explanation, Why he a deputy gives him a nudge from behind. And just like every other cops, 
Brothers in blue, brothers in blue, brothers in blue, and y'all want to be mad when we on the streets and we stick together. So you mean to tell me, and you got a black dude that's up in that blue. Y'all see him? The bald head dude. So you mean to tell me that no matter what you see your homie doing, you're not supposed to say nothing, right? Right. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what we're doing. But guess what? We don't take the oath. We ain't in no Bible. Right hand all up and protect the streets, protect none of that, bro. So none of y'all didn't want to speak up on that? That would have been unnoticed and un um un um what word am I looking for? Unaccountability? Is that a word? On them officer behalf if the judge wasn't there. I know. I know. This video is halfway here, and it's not finna go off of him just going outside. You know what I'm saying? It ain't over right here, bro. Get up. Get on your feet. You don't turn on me. Get on your feet. He like, I'm talking to the judge. That dude think he says he is daddy. He said, you don't turn on me. He turned around because he wanted to see why you nudged Get up. Get up. Get up. Get on your feet. Don't turn on me. Get on your feet. Waller, who's fully shackled and handcuffs, exactly like what I said. Chain, with a belly chain. Ask the judge for clarification. If I'm under investigation, I thought the investigation came first, then the rest. Deputy Brady Lovinger then places his hand on Waller's actually. back. And I took his white off on the day. Lovinger claimed again. that because the judge had brought the again. hearing to a close, he was directing Waller to the clerk to sign paperwork and prevent him from stalling the proceeding. But after Waller turns towards him, the deputy grabs Waller by his uniform and belly chain and slams him face first into a metal window frame. Lawsuit! Lawsuit! And he already up in there without getting charged, bro. When the lawyer seen this, he probably had like 50 of them at his cell. I promise you, hey, bro, I represent you. I represent you. I... They need that quick buck, bro. Lawsuit. Get on your feet. As Waller's dragged into a hallway, he tells deputies that he's injured. And this one thing, like I said, sometimes the system could be cool because this camera is in a courtroom. It's not a regular civilian. They let this footage go, bro. Either they let the footage go or a boy they slammed, they lawyer got the footage and released it. Anyway, we seen what happened. We didn't have to see this. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of courtrooms, a lot of court buildings that'll say, oh, somehow it wasn't recorded that day. We accidentally deleted it. I promise you, bro. It's a lot of stuff that happened that's supposed to be on TV, on YouTube that we didn't see because they used that exact excuse what I just told y'all now. It happened to not be recording that day. You know what I'm saying? Even though it called everything from that morning, from 8 o'clock to 11.59. But the case that was at from 12 o'clock to 12.20, for some reason, to stop recording. Why? Because our boy got beat up in here. Oh, <laughs> my. Get on your feet. My head's open, man. Anthony Waller suffered a head wound and broken teeth from the deputy's takedown, but things did not end there. So y'all ain't do nothing to the deputy, bro? What you mean they didn't in there? What, were y'all gonna tell us more about his injuries? He got a broken toe? After witnessing the incident firsthand, Judge Doris Byrd filed an excessive force grievance against the deputy W and Judge. the Department of Public Safety. W the Judge! The found there was not an imminent threat to the safety of anyone in the court when Love and Jeer used excessive force on Waller. Please get him in jail. Following the investigation, Deputy Love and Jeer was suspended for 30 days by the city... Let me tell you something. I'm a big believer. If you catch somebody doing it for the first time, that's not their first time doing it. You know what I'm saying? He did this before. He did it on tape. And he going to do it again after 30 days. W. Judge L. System. W. Judge L. System. Because didn't, she didn't even have to say nothing. Or he didn't even have to say nothing. The of Denver. Anthony Waller would later win a $50,000 civil suit against Love and Jeer in the city. The federal jury determined his constitutional rights were violated. By the excessive hold on hold on hold on hold on listen to what they just said bro listen to what they just said listen to what they just was said was not an imminent threat to the safety of listen anyone to what they in the just court said. 
when Love and Jeer used excessive force on Waller. Following the investigation, Deputy Love and Jeer was suspended for 30 days suspended by the city of Denver. Days. Love and Jeer suspended. Anthony Waller would later win a $50,000 civil suit against Love and Jeer in the city. He won a $50,000 civil suit against Love and Jeer, which means he could sue the city and win under the same circumstances. The city should have got sued over this. That $50,000 should have been $5 million, two million dollars it ain't no way i'm taking fifty thousand dollars while i'm in police custody shackled up and that officer threw me against the wall busted my head and broke my teeth down to to to, to, to baby th 50 bands ain't nothing i don't know if you gotta get 50 bands and know that 50 bands ain't nothing but i promise you that's nothing bro nizzy and that mean no it's throwback word <laughs> but nizzy bro Dang. W. Judge, L. System. Federal jury determined his constitutional rights were violated by the excessive force used against him. As for Waller's original crime, he was found guilty of third degree assault and sentenced to two years in county jail. Oh, that L. System. You know how you got an L? Hey, where's the L? A seven of the square system, bro. Even though. You getting beat up, do not delete the crime, but dang, some of the leniency, like, yeah, bro, we messed up, we didn't give you this 50 bands, it wasn't enough, we just take a year off of that, you know what I'm saying, just don't tell nobody. They still gave him two years. Rest in peace, King Nipsey, DJ Ghost, one, honey.